Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now, my portfolio is worth $88,012.12. Today was a red day for me. As you can see, today I was down $2,836.09. And then after hours, I am up $248.22. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling LUV $30 covered calls. These expire April 19. My total return, $145. I'm selling PayPal $63 covered calls. These expire April 19. My total return, $400. I'm selling SoFi $9 covered calls. These expire April 19. My total return, $1,260. I'm selling Verizon $42 covered calls. These expire April 19. My total return, $4. I'm selling Amazon $200 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return, $123. I'm selling Disney $140 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return $249. I'm selling Google $170 covered call. This expires June 21st. My total return. I am down $3. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $180.55. My average cost, $98.95. Total return, $24,483.70. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.38. My average cost, $5.62 Total return $10,539 I have 300 shares of Disney Disney is at $116.62 My average cost $60 Total return $16,986 I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $148.79. My average cost, $142.48. Total return, $631. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $28. My average cost, $28.03. Total return, I am down $15. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $64.67. My average cost, $57.70. Total return, $1,394. And lastly, I have 200 shares of Verizon. Verizon is at $42.50. Average cost, $39.31. Total return, $638.10. For my buying power, I have $3,343.13. Year to date, I am up $9,125.67. So 2024 is going well so far. I didn't make any new changes today to my portfolio positions, but I did lose quite a bit of money. I lost almost $3,000 today. So that's a big chunk of my portfolio. And it happened mostly at the end of the day. For most of the day today, I was in the green actually. But then all of a sudden, starting around 11 a.m., somewhere around 11 a.m. like that, it started going down by a lot. So 
most of the losses happened towards the end of the day. I did deposit money into my portfolio recently. I deposited $1,000 yesterday. And that's something that I regularly do all the time and that I've mentioned before on this channel many, many times. Depositing money into my portfolio is a regular thing that I do on a regular basis. And I treat it as such. I might make a separate video just on that, but as far as I know, depositing money into your portfolio is just a regular part of investing. Or at least it should be if not already. It's very, very difficult to make a sizable amount of gains if you don't regularly deposit money into your portfolio. Just being real here. And if any YouTuber, or any person for that matter, tries to tell you that you can make life-changing amounts of money even if you never deposit money into your portfolio, I would be very wary of that person because realistically, it is very difficult to make life-changing amounts of money without depositing money regularly into your portfolio. For most people, they have to see depositing money into their portfolio as just a regular normal part of investing. It's unavoidable for most people. But again, I think I might make a separate video just for that topic. But for now, that's pretty much it for this portfolio update. Thank you so much for watching, like, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.